our coffee, which has been doctored with poison. Living by our senses may lead us far astray from a good life. Oh my gosh, I think of all the advertisements on TV, right? If we truly believed everything we heard and saw in them, we would have so many beautiful girlfriends and boyfriends, and so much success in life, and so much happiness, that we would think we're in heaven. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus comes along and shows us a different way of interpreting the world and all that we see and hear and feel. He gives us the spiritual dimension, the timeless dimension for living. And we struggle with understanding because we're so wrapped up in our physical, sensual world. Put yourself in the place of the Jews in today's gospel. Try to make some sense of what Jesus is trying to tell us. How could he have lived before Abraham? How can he be beyond death and live forever? It might be difficult for us to even place ourselves in that context because we're living in a post-resurrection time, having been raised from birth with the belief that Jesus is who he actually claimed he was. The Son of God. The Word of God, who created the whole world. And yet, every day we go along and we trust our senses more than we trust our spirit and our soul. We make decisions which are counter to our eternal life, but are pleasing to our current, present, sensual life. In the Gospel of John, we hear long discourses which boggle our minds. And, and that's a technical term for struggling to understand how to change from our current life. Jesus is trying to take us into the world of the Father from which he came and to which he will return. That there is a life beyond this one is clear if we listen to him. He tells us he knew Abraham, who physically lived hundreds of years before. Do we believe him or not? He was seen conversing with Moses and Elijah at the Transfiguration, and they had also physically lived hundreds of years before Jesus. Oh, and by the way, one of them had never died. Remember that Elijah was taken up into heaven in a fiery chariot. We, even today, have stories of those who have literally died and come back to life, who have described this incredible world of light and joy and peace, and they attest that they will never fear death again. Jesus is inviting us to live in his world, even while we are in this present world, by letting go of our attachment to our senses and trusting in Him by living as He did, with forgiveness and compassion and mercy and peace, totally non-violent. Next week is Holy Week and the events of the Trinity. May we enter fully into the spirit of that time and live with Jesus Christ, who exists for all time.